Okay, I'm going to explain how to replace the dryer blower wheel. Here are the tools we're going to use. We have a set of pliers, a stubby head Phillips screwdriver, a standard flathead screwdriver, and a ratchet with a, an extension, and a 6.5 millimeter socket head. So these are all the tools we'll need to uh, do this job. A shorter one will work easier. And the two first screws are right here hidden at the bottom. There's one there, which I took out already, and one over here, which I have partially removed. So I'll take it out. Once the two bottom screws are removed, you can actually lift this whole front panel off. And I'll try to show you as I hold the camera at the same time. There we go. You basically lift the bottom out, and it's easier with two hands. Um, so don't forget to unplug your dryer. Then you can go ahead and unhook those two uh, wires. Let me just tuck the wires out of the way so they're not flopping around. We need to remove this assembly. This is the lint assembly, and it also houses the, uh, the blower which sucks the air through the dryer. So there's four screws holding it on inside the drum right behind here. There's so we can once the four screws are removed, you can remove this whole panel. And what I do is I just it still has a ground wire attached, so we just tuck it right inside the into the drum. Okay? And that exposes down here the blower wheel. And we're not quite there yet. The blower wheel has this housing guarding it. Okay, I was able to turn on the light on the camera, which is my phone. And you can see a little bit better this cover, which basically, so you can, now that we have the light on, you can see a little bit more how this works. It pulls the air through here um, as it spins, and it sucks it all the way back through this tube which you can kind of see back there and that takes it right out to the uh, to the vent which you normally have running out to the outside of the house and so we can go ahead and I've already removed all the screws off of this panel they're all over the perimeter of this casing and that's what you'll need this ratchet for right here okay and this actually also removes the screws from the inside the drum um, so now that those are removed, you can just pull this right out like this. The next step is you need to take your pliers. It has this clip right around the outside edge of the blower wheel. Squeeze it and pull the clip right out. You can just set it aside on the ground, wherever. And the next part is a little trickier. I'm not going to be able to do it with the camera on, but it has this little clip here. Um, and you have to have a special tool. I mean, you can do, you can remove this with a flathead screwdriver, but it's preferable if you have the um, the right tool. And I actually happen to have the tool, but not here. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab a flathead screwdriver and pry that off. I was able, able to pry off that snap ring. This is what it looks like. Let me get a far enough away. It's not so blurry. But that's the snap ring. So now we've got that off. We can go ahead and slide this blower wheel right out of there. And you can see how that center hole is all rounded out. There should be a flat spot which holds it in place on that shaft so that it spins when the shaft spins. But instead, the shaft spins and this just kind of wobbles on the shaft so it's not really drying well. Plus it's disgustingly dirty. So here's the new one. Anyway, we'll go ahead and slide this in place, just like that. And now, you can see that turns with the shaft, so it's nice and solid. Next step is to get this snap ring back in place. Okay, I've got the snap ring back in place. The new blower wheel comes with a new clip. Got a nice tight spring to it since it's brand new. So you squeeze the spring with a set of pliers and place it right over the center just like so and I'll just make sure it's all the way on snug push it back 
and it's a nice tight fit and that blower wheel is nice and solid turns with the shaft not wobbly at all and next thing you do is just simply put it all back together and that's how you install the dryer blower wheel on a Maytag dryer